What's up you cinema psychos, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have an unbelievably crazy psychedelic horror flick lined up for us. It is Jeff Lieberman's 1977 under the radar classic. Guys, it is Blue Sunshine. And this one, if you have never seen it before, you're in for a real treat, because this one is just all kinds of crazy, batshit crazy fun. Let's go, let's check this out, shall we? Here is Blue Sunshine. Blue Sunshine is a trippy late 70s horror flick, which is genuinely soaked in paranoid drug-infused delusions and crazed frantic moments, which captures the tense atmosphere of the film to perfection. Gleefully intriguing and altogether masterfully shot, this outstanding horror thriller truthfully packs a punch as it delves into one outrageous moment to the next, all lends with a surreal touch by director Jeff Lieberman. When it comes to bizarre cinema, you can't go wrong with a little blue sunshine. The film follows a man by the name of Jerry Zipkin, after he witnesses a horrific triple murder involving his friend Franny Scott, who has mysteriously turned into a homicidal maniac. It turns out that a tainted batch of LSD called Blue Sunshine is transforming anyone who has taken it into crazed, bald-headed psychotics, and it's up to Jerry, now on the run from the police, to figure out the source of the drug and put a stop to the killings. Zalman King takes on the role of Jerry Zipkin, the unfortunate hero of the film, who's hunted by the police and tormented by bald-headed, drugged-up freaks. King does a tremendous job in giving us someone to root for, as he seriously puts all of himself into his performance. From frantic situations to contemplative moments, he genuinely grounds the film in the realm of believability. Even with all of the fanciful and outlandish concepts the film throws at its audience on a constant basis. In bombastic fashion, King helps to push the film along into some rather great moments, and he's a wonderful centerpiece for this crazed production. Rounding out the rest of the cast is a gaggle of psychotics and mentally stable characters who all aid to the flavor that is Blue Sunshine. The main players are Deborah Winters as Alicia Sweeney, Jerry Zipkin's faithful girlfriend and frequent partner in crime, Mark Goddard as Edward Fleming, an aspiring politician and all-around dubious character, Robert Walden as Dr. David Bloom, Zipkin's practitioner friend and confidant. Ann Cooper as Wendy Fleming, Edward Fleming's estranged wife and balding psychotic, and finally Ray Young as Wayne Mulligan, friend and bodyguard to Edward Fleming, and all around raging maniac. Across the board, the cast does an amazing job with the material, and each actor does their best to keep things grounded, while at the same time amp up the crazy when the time calls for it. With its wild premise and equally unhinged presentation, Blue Sunshine is a thing of demented beauty. It never cheapens its drug-fueled concept, but rather relishes in it, pushing the tone of the production to unbearable levels of insanity that truly needs to be experienced. It's wickedly tense in the most outstanding of ways, and makes for one hell of an intriguing and unique political thriller, along the lines of Stephen King's Dead Zone. If you like your horror blended with political intrigue and unchained maniacal glee, then give this one a shot. It honestly is a unique and sadly forgotten gem. In the end, Blue Sunshine is drug-infused horror madness that will simply bulge your head and blow your mind. And there you have it, you drug-infused freaks. That is the unbelievably out-of-control horror flick, Blue Sunshine. 
And like I said before, if you haven't seen it, check it out as soon as possible because it is an underrated gem that needs to be seen. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.